In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down how to text women on Tinder. I've coached thousands of men around the world and I see a lot of guys making the same mistakes over and over again. So in this video, I'm gonna show you real examples of how to get a girl's phone number on Tinder and how to set up a date once you get her number. So pound that like button, hit subscribe, and enjoy the video. Matched with this Colombian girl on Tinder, and I was like, are you looking for a Canadian boyfriend? And she's like, well, my dad moved to Canada, so yeah, I would be open to it. And I was like, funny, because I'm looking for a Colombian wifey. She's like, oh, you like Colombians? Sorry, I don't really speak English. And I was like, well, maybe we can teach each other a couple things, eh? She's like, what do you have in mind? Depends. Do you have a naughty side? She said, I think we all have that side, but it can be difficult to find someone to share that with. And I was like, well, maybe I can help you with that. And it looks like she's down with that. So I was like, let's grab a drink and see what happens. She said, sounds good. So with that, number secured. Match with this absolute smoke show on Tinder. So I was like, love the tattoo. And she said, thanks. You have tattoos? And I was like, yeah, I have like 12. How many do you have? And she's like, cool. I have three. Wanted to test the waters a little bit. So I was like, you should show me. And she says, they're in very hidden places of my body. I like an adventure. And can I see your tattoos? I was like, yeah, you could try to find them all. <laughs> she's like, will it be difficult? Depends how hard you look. So small talk's going really well. And then she threw a job interview question at me. She's like, well, tell me a little bit more about yourself. But but in my opinion, the point of Tinder isn't to try to get to know people. It's to get their numbers and set up dates. And on dates in real life, that's when you can actually get to know a person. So I was like, yeah, I'd be down over drinks. What's your number? And just like that, number secured. I matched with this absolute baddie on Tinder. And in her bio, she says, please hold the popcorn. Let's have a movie night. So I was like, wine in a movie? And she's like, sounds like fun. Had to keep it playful. So I was like, as long as you're a good cuddler, of course. And she throws a little bit of a shit test at me. She says, maybe you'll be lucky enough to find out. So I triple reverse unoed her shit test. And I was like, the confidence is adorable, but you know, that always goes both ways. And she's like, oh, I wouldn't expect anything less. So the conversation's going really well, building some really good tension. So I was like, you're cute. What are you looking for on here? She's like, honestly, someone I can connect with, hang with, eat snacks with, see where things could potentially go. What about you? That sounds like such a vibe. Honestly, I'm just going with the flow and seeing what happens, keeping things chill and fun to start with. And she says, I like chill and fun and you seem chill and fun. Seems like we're definitely on the same page. So with that number secured. Matched with an absolute smoke show and she has a really cute pug. So I was like, I wanna meet your pug. She's like, that's my best friend. His name is Dwayne, an iconic name for some such a little guy. Well, my mom is obsessed with Dwayne Johnson, so he does what he can to live up to the name. I was like, yeah, definitely see the resemblance. You're cute. What are you looking for on here? Honestly, nothing serious. Meet new people and have some fun. How about you? I was like, yeah, I feel that. I'm not looking for anything serious either. Just good company and good socks. She's like, sounds like we might be on the same page. And just like that, Snapchat secured. Matched with this absolute six and a half on Tinder and she was only a kilometer away. So I was like, one kilometer away? What's up, neighbor? She's like, LMAO, OMG, that's so close. Too funny. It's crazy. We're literally like a block away from each other. And she's like, small world. If you ever want to go for a walk, let me know. I was like, yeah, sounds fun. You're cute. What are you looking for on here? I'll be honest and say I don't do hookups or friends with benefits, but I'm good with casual dating or something. Lockdown made me really miss meeting people, so I think I just want to see what's out there. I was like, yeah, it makes sense. I'm not really looking for anything super serious, but I'm also not into one night stands. Just going with the flow. And it looks like we're on the same page. So with that, Snapchat secured. What do you guys think? Would you date your neighbor or is that off limits? Let me know in the comments. I matched with an absolute dime on Tinder. And based on her mirror selfies, it looked like she lived in her mom's basement. So I was like, I want a tour of your basement apartment. Take me out for a drink or six first. I'm so over spending 50 to 100 bucks on first dates that go nowhere. So I was like, F that. Wine and vinyl with some life chats or I don't want it. She's like, aggressive. Red or white? I was like, Cabernet Sauvignon if your candle game is strong. Sauvignon Blanc if you're more of a string light girl. She's like, I'm more of a beer girl, but I guess I can bring out the string lights for a night. I was like, might even bring a couple Bud Lights if you're lucky. What's your snap? She's like, well, if you're going to bring Bud Light, just bring water. Love a girl with a bit of sass and Snapchat secured. I matched with this rocket on Tinder and I was like, I can't tell if you're innocent or an absolute baddie and it's hurting my brain. She says, why can't I be both with the cute little pouty face? But one side always comes through at the end of the day. So she says, which side do you want that to be? And I was like, well, I want you to be yourself and not try to be what I'm looking for, but also like, please be naughty, you know? I think I'm a good mix of both. 
treat me like a princess and I'll be whatever you want. What are you looking for though? And I was like, we'll just have to see about that. Nothing super serious, but I'm also not into one night stands. Just looking for someone I vibe with and going with the flow. How about you? She's like, yeah, I'm kind of the same. I'm not down to just hook up, but I'm also not looking right now. If there is a connection, I'm not against that being a thing. I was like, yes, exactly. Sounds like we're on the same page. Looks like she doesn't use Snapchat, so secured the number instead. Because texting takes more time, I really only ask for the number if I'm super interested, but Snapchat is way more efficient, and that's why I usually ask for that. Match with this absolute rocket on Hinge, and I was like, I can't tell if you're innocent or an absolute baddie, and it's hurting my brain. She says, come find out. Pretty bold, so I was like, when and where? Name a time and place. And I was like, all right, what are you doing tonight? She hits me up the following morning and says, oops, just seeing this. I have my daughter like 90% of the time though. I kind of had a feeling that she was all talk. So engaged in a little bit of small talk. I was like, yeah, we can work around that. How old is she? She's like, oh, she'll be five next week. I was like, that's such a fun age. So what are you looking for on here? She just flips it on me and says, what are you looking for? So I flipped it back on her and said, why are you dodging the question? I'm not just someone to have fun with, I guess. Sounds wholesome enough. So I matched her energy and I was like, yeah, same here. Just keeping things fun and going with the flow. She says, who knows? Maybe we'll fall in love. Winky face. I mean, I guess we should chill and see what happens. And just like that, boys, Snapchat secure. Once you get a girl's number on Tinder, this is how you set up the date. So I was like, hey, you. She's like, hey, yourself. I'm pretty sure I know who this is, but why don't you tell me your name in case I'm wrong? I don't want to make an ass of myself. I was like, damn, how many Tinder guys are you giving your number to? Had to tease her a little bit. She's like, exactly one. But what if this was a wrong number text? We never knew because neither of us gave our names. And then we agreed to meet up and I end up meeting a 40 year old woman who had thought was a man could have been awkward. I was like, honestly, I feel like that would be one of the funniest experiences in my life. So I wouldn't even be that mad. So I teased her a little bit at first, but then I gave her my name. She's like, oh my God, I knew once you mentioned Tinder, since you're the only guy I've given my number to on there recently. Yeah. Okay. So once the small talk's out of the way, it's really just about setting up the logistics. So tried to figure out, you know, whereabouts she lives, whether she lives alone with family. And it looks like my place is just going to work better for a booty call type scenario. So I hit her up a couple nights later, but she was actually busy with the family. And I was like, oh damn, I was going to say, come chill. She's like, oh, I can't tonight, but I'd be down tomorrow. It was going to rain. So I was like, why don't you come over, watch movies? We'll hang out. She throws a little bit of a shit test at me. She's like, oh, it depends on your taste in movies. And I was like, we're obviously watching Mean Girls. So past the shit test, looks like we're watching some sort of chick flick. Sometimes girls will say they're down for a date, but then flake last minute. So I played it cool. I didn't double text. And she hit me up the next day saying, what's your address and when should I get there? So figured out the details. And then I was like, also, I'm completely out of beers. So if you want to have a drink, feel free to bring anything. She's like, I feel like a movie at 2 p.m. is a different vibe. I was like, fair enough. I'll see you soon. And that is how you set up a date once you get a girl's phone number off of Tinder. I said, I guess I can stop using Google now. She's like, oh yeah. I was like, well, now that you're here, the search is over. She likes my message and she's like, I haven't heard that one yet. And compliments one of my photos with a Canadian tuxedo. I was like, thanks. I'm glad you have good taste. You're cute. What are you looking for on here? She's like, not looking for anything too serious at the moment. Also, I gotta ask, I love a man with tattoos. However, all your photos are in fact covering any you may have. I just matched her energy. I was like, yeah, I feel that. I'm looking for someone I vibe with for some fun. Maybe if you're lucky, I'll show you my tattoos sometime. And just like that, Snapchat secured. Over Snapchat, we pretty much just set up the logistics. And I gotta say, this is one of the best Tinder dates I've been on in a while. Now, if you're looking for a more detailed breakdown of how to text women on Tinder, I just came out with the ultimate texting guide the textbook. You can find it in the link in the description of this video. It will literally change your game, bro. So check it out. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.